Welcome to 10 Minutes With. It's a podcast for people who want to listen to podcasts but don't have all day. Today, Randy Snavely from Family Life Mornings talks with singer and songwriter Josh Wilson, who's coming to upstate New York for a concert November 14th. What do you say we get started? Let's get a little bit of a background here. I know you play a lot of instruments, and I know you grew up in a home where your father was a pastor. Yeah, that's correct. I grew up in Lubbock, Texas, and uh, my dad is still a pastor there. He's been a, a pastor at his church for almost 30 years. And uh, But I live in Nashville, Tennessee now, and yeah, my parents, uh, they put me in music lessons at a young age, and I, to this day, appreciate that just because I, I love playing different instruments. Guitar is my, my favorite, and that's the one I'll be playing at the concert. But yeah, I, I'm excited to, to come and, and share my songs and my stories and my heart. How many different instruments do you play? Guitar and piano and drums are my three primary instruments, but I like to venture out and play it really anything with strings or frets uh, or anything that you strike, like percussive. So there have been certain albums where I challenged myself to play everything on the record, and I think it was upwards of a little over 20 instruments, probably. (laughs) Oh, wow. Wow. So, Josh, let me ask you this. When did you realize that uh, God wanted you in the type of ministry that you're in? Well, I have heard that as a songwriter, you know, some good advice I've been given is to write what you know. And I grew up in the church and I grew up, you know, believing in Jesus. And my faith is very important to me. It's something that's certainly foundational to who I am. And as I got interested in in playing instruments, I also became passionate about songwriting. And, you know, when people say, write what you know, like, like I said, I grew up in the faith. And so to write about my faith only came naturally. And I do that to this day. It doesn't mean I'm an expert or anything like that. I've, I've just followed Jesus for the majority of my life. And so I write about the good times, the hard times, the mountains, valleys, the struggles, the, the victories. And uh, it certainly comes through in my music, I hope. When we go to your concert, what can we expect? Are we going to hear, obviously, the music, but are we going to hear some of those different struggles and victories that you've experienced? Absolutely. I will certainly share the heart behind the songs. I'll I'll give the stories behind those as well as sing them. And, you know, you mentioned some folks listening might not know me, and that's that's very true. And I I hope to meet some people who maybe have never heard my music. Sometimes people will have heard my songs but won't know my name. So I'll be sharing some songs that you might have heard right here on the radio. Songs. uh, My more recent songs are called OK, Borrow, and Dream Small. Those are my latest singles. But over the years, I have had songs on the radio uh, called That Was Then, This Is Now, Pushing Back the Dark, Carry Me, I Refuse, Before the Morning, Fall Apart, just to name a few of those. And I'll be sharing all of those songs that you might have heard on the radio over the years. And maybe you haven't heard any of my music. And and I would encourage you to come, you know, even if you're not familiar, because I really think there's going to be something for everybody. I actually do uh, what's called live looping, and I'll have my loop pedal there. Um, You've probably seen someone like Phil Keggy do this or Ed Sheeran where there's a pedal on the ground and you play your guitar and you step on it and it starts to record what you're playing and then you step on the pedal again and it continues to loop and and play what you just laid down you just recorded and then you can add a second guitar part and a third and a fourth so each song sort of builds and sounds like you have a full band but I'll be performing and recording everything right there in front of the audience so that'll be something uh, that I'll do that night as well. We don't really know you, so I want to try and help us to get to know you a little bit better. I like your style, and I say that because I remember reading at one point, and this was several years ago, you were stuck, I think, in an airport. Uh, There were a lot of delays, and evidently you had your guitar with you because you got it out and started playing I want to say, hey, Jude, but I'm not positive that was it. But you got everybody in the airport who was waiting to sing along with you. That's exactly right. And you're actually correct on the song. There was a massive security issue and just a delay in the airport. People were delayed six or eight hours on their flights. And it was two in the morning. And I had my guitar and my buddy, we we were all sort of stranded there in the airport. And he said, hey, you should play a song. And I looked around at all of the stranded and disgruntled passengers who had luggage that could be thrown at my head. And I thought, man, I don't know that that's such a good idea for me to play a song. But I was newly married and my wife, she said, yeah, you should do it. Of course, I wanted to impress her. And so I said, okay, I'm going to do this. And I thought to myself, if if this is going to work, I'm going to have to play a song 
everybody knows so they can sing along. And so I picked Hey Jude by the Beatles. And I started, I stood up and started playing and realized quickly, I don't, I didn't really know Hey Jude by the Beatles that well. And so I thought, <laughs> well, we, we just got to get to the na na's, you know, na 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 na. And so I got there as quickly as I could. And sure enough, uh, many people in the airport were singing along with me. My wife was singing, my friend was singing. And it turned out to be a really fun thing. And, and my wife put the video on YouTube and it, it ended up going viral. And uh, it was really fun to do something that was really nerve wracking for me because I know those people were not there to hear me play music, but I just stood up and tried to inject a little bit of joy into a gloomy situation. Uh, like I said, I like your style. Okay, we're going to get to know you a little bit better here. I'm going to ask you what your favorite something is, and uh, let's see what you come up with. Just You can give just a one-word answer or a brief answer, but let me just start with what's your favorite food? My favorite food, this is an easy one. I'm just going to have to say pizza. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is, ooh, that's a tough one, probably Inception. Favorite vacation spot? Ooh, um, I have been to the Bahamas once, and it's either that or Hawaii, somewhere tropical. That sounds like my wife. Uh, how about your favorite car? Oh, at this point, a Tesla. I sure wish I could drive one, but uh, that is probably not in, in, the, uh, in the cards for me. But yeah, those are awesome. Favorite sport? Baseball. I played baseball growing up, and uh, it's still my favorite. Really? Are you a, a fan of a particular team? Well, I grew up in Texas, and so I was a Texas Rangers fan. And, um, you know, there are so many games every year, I don't watch a whole lot of them. But I do try and watch at least the World Series every year. Which would you prefer of the chocolate or the cheese thing? And I'll give you several of these and let you, let's figure out if you like the chocolate more or the cheese more. If you had to choose one between chocolate ice cream or a grilled cheese sandwich, which would it be? Ooh, I'm going to go grilled cheese on that one. I think I know the answer to this one. Pizza or brownies? <laughs> yep, you had me at pizza. <laughs> How about Oreos or Cheez-Its? Ooh, tough one, but I'm going to have to go with Oreos on that one. Okay. Nachos or Nutella? Oh, you might have found the perfect question because I don't know. <laughs> that, that one right there is a toss-up. It depends on my mood, but, uh, you know, you know, if I've already had pizza, I'm, I'll go with Nutella on this one. Mac and cheese or chocolate cake? Chocolate cake all day. Candy bar or string cheese? Ooh, candy bar. <laughs> this one was tough for me. Peanut butter cup or a cheeseburger? That is tough, but uh, I'm going to go cheeseburger. Well, you're you're pretty evenly divided there, so you you like them both. <laughs> yeah, I do like them both. It's hard to choose. You made it you made it tough there. Are you a uh, pet lover? I grew up with a dog. My family does not have any pets right now. We have a little boy who turns four tomorrow, and uh, so he is our pet right now. <laughs> ah, yes. He keeps us busy. He keeps us running around, that's for sure. Talking with Josh Wilson, again, he's going to be in concert at the Cala Theater in Pulaski, New York, Thursday, November 14th. It is a free concert, and so we're expecting a lot of you to be there. Uh, Josh, let me give you a chance to kind of throw in the last word here. What hasn't been said that needs to be said? Well, um, my hope in playing music is that people will hear my songs and feel a little less alone. I hope people hear my music and say, me too, that's the way I feel. And I hope my songs can be encouraging. Um, I hope they can communicate God's love to anyone who hears them. Um, you know, the Bible says that we're created um, by God and for God. And because God first loved us, we can love each other. And so I hope that when people hear my songs, they, they understand God's great love for us and understand the fact that because God first loved us, we can love each other. And so um, really all of my songs point to that. My goal is to stir up kindness and hope and joy through my music. And so I'll be sharing all of that on the stage, you know, through my music and through the explanations of my songs. But uh, if you're hearing this, know that God loves you so much that you are not alone, uh, that you have an important place in this world, and God has, has created you for a reason. Oh, hey, that, you said this concert's on the 14th, right? Yes. 
Oh, that's also, it's my birthday that day, so. Is it I, really? Uh, yeah, I'll have to sing extra special. So I, I don't know that I've ever played a concert on my birthday. This might be the first. So yeah, I'll see you guys on my birthday, November the 14th.